police were everywhere. No. Got the right money. Yep, they smashed the cottage door down, but she was long gone. Scott's bed hasn't been slept in. Oh, relax. He left a note. He's um, gone off for a few days. Mm, perhaps Kim sent the helicopter back for him. Maybe he's a new tie boy. <laughs> this isn't funny. Where's he gone and why? He um, just said he needs to get his head together. Shouldn't be gone too long, then. <laughs> We've got a business to run. He's really left us in the lurch. We never does that much work, anyway. Who's going to do the deliveries? Who's going to do the cash and carry? I have to get some help in. Well, it's not worth it. By the time you get a temp sorted, he'll be back. Well, Terry said he'd do a few hours if we need him. No way! We don't need any favours from him. It's no big deal. It's free during the day anyway. Yeah, well, I told you before, I don't want him in this house. I'm just thinking of the business, Kelly. Um, I was just wondering how Chris was. Oh, he's on the mend. They just kept him in for observation. He's coming out today. Oh, oh good, good. I'm, I'm glad. I've, I've been feeling bad about the way things are between me and you, and, well, you came and said sorry, and <laughs> I just wish that I had. Are you? Yes. I, I just want us to be friends again. Yeah, me too. I'll see you later. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Girl, stay, stay. Zoe, are you going back to the hospital this morning? No, I don't think so. We're a bit busy today. Don't worry, I can do your calls. Well, can I come here? We're in really a good experience. When we're a bit less hectic. Oh, Patty. Mm. The truth is, I'm dreading seeing Chris again. He blames me for everything. Oh, that's ridiculous. Is it? If I hadn't posted Kim's bell, she'd never have got away. Never have been able to attack him. You didn't know it was going to turn out like that. You did what you thought was right. Kim fooled a lot of people, including me. Yes, but not Chris. And if I'd listened to him, she'd be behind bars now. At least she's gone for good this time. She wouldn't dare show her face in the village again. So Chris can forget about her, and you can both get on with your lives. Hey, are them them secretaries I sent for? It would address to me. Seth Armstrong. I hope you haven't been wasting your... Honest, no. It must be a present. Ah, right, look, there's a card. To the only mate I'll miss. Love, Kay. Hey, must be Kim. Is she your secret admirer, Seth? Hey, you can't keep it. It's from a criminal. Yeah, that'll probably be place. Raiding right the place. Get rid of it. I've looked, mate. You'll have to dispose of the evidence. I don't know, I know just where to put it. Terry, there's a visitor for you. I was wondering if you could do a few hours for me at the shop. I thought we'd agreed it wasn't a good idea. Well, I wouldn't ask, but Scott's gone off for a few days and I really can't cope without some help. Do you think Kelly will come round to this? No problem. She knows it's just business. OK. Shh. Bye. Hey, where do you think you're going? I'm getting rid of it like you told me to. This is cold up, Seth, isn't it? Can I get you a cup of tea? Oh, no, I'm fine, thanks. I was, uh, I was actually looking for Ned. Oh, Jack. This is uh, Dawn Wilkins. We met at the supermarket yesterday. Uh, nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you. Uh, Ned's working out in the barn at the moment. Uh, Show you out there if you like. Oh no, it's okay. I expect I can find him. Um, look, I hope you don't think I'm being nosy, but I was wondering about Ned and Jan. That they always seemed so right for each other. I was really surprised that they'd split up. Well, they've they've had their troubles. I I guess that drove them apart. And there's no chance of them getting back together again. Oh no, no. Jan's made a new life for herself, and Ned seems to have accepted it. <clears throat> I expect he'll tell you all about it. Are you sure I don't want to show you out there? No, I'm fine, honestly. You finish your tea. Bye. But top barn. Thanks. <laughs> well, she seems very keen to renew the acquaintance. Now, don't you go reading too much into it. No, oh, she's lost her husband. His wife's left him. Bit of romance are doing both good. You sure it's them you're thinking about? Well, I am getting fed up with his miserable face, and I must admit, anything that would cheer him up be a blessing. Oh, oh, 
fortuitous. Eh? Uh, then you should arrive just when I've got in some new stock. Well, particularly since you're the sort of discerning customer who recognises true quality. I don't know about that. Well, I do. You've certainly got better taste than the last inhabitants of the home farm. Oh, as a matter of fact, that's what I came to ask you about. Oh, yeah? I've been trying to phone, but I can't get any reply. Ah, uh, well, that's hardly surprising under the circumstances. What circumstances? <laughs> home farms always had a colourful history. You've just missed the closing of another chapter. But I just want to have another look around grounds. Oh, well, that can be arranged. Uh, but I think I should fill you in on the latest developments first. Look, I don't want to disturb your work. Oh, always time for a beautiful lady, Stella. Uh, tell you what, give me a couple of minutes to close up and uh, we'll go over to the diner, shall we? All right. Present from an old mate who's gone to pastures new. Yeah, I wish I could do that. You won't want to leave the village. Uh, most of my family are gone, Seth. Our Roy don't need me anymore. To be honest, I don't even know why I'm repairing this. Prices of lambs fetched last year, they're not even worth fencing in. Yeah. Well, it's a bit early, isn't it? Medicinal. Keep cold out. Hiya. Yeah. I didn't expect to see you up here. I just wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye? We've only just met up again. I'll see you soon. Yeah, I'll see you, Seth. <laughs> Bad timing, I'm afraid. I've bought a bar out in Ibiza. I wanted a fresh start after Fred died. Yeah, I know how you feel. I was shattered when our Dave was killed, and then, of course, we lost our Linda as well. That's awful, losing two children. Yeah, then Jan went a bit funny, and things were never the same between us when she came out of hospital. Oh, I'm really sorry. Oh, it's all water on the bridge now, love. I wish I could be like you and leave all my memories behind, but, well, I ain't got that sort of money, and I'm not the type to up sticks and go, so there's no point worrying, is there? I picked up your mail from the haulage yard. I've dealt with anything that looked urgent. It's good of you. Do you want me to start contacting people to tell them the opening's been postponed? Well, it hasn't. I'll be opening next week as planned. Well, I know you're getting out today, but Dr Smith said you're supposed to take things easy. Getting the haulage business started will be the best tonic I could have. I'm not going to let Kim ruin that as well. Then you're going to need plenty of help. I'll get back to the yard this afternoon and start getting things organised. What about your own work? It's all finished. As of this morning, I'm officially on leave. Then you're the one that deserves a well-earned rest. Well, maybe I'll take it in the village. I've still got the cottage. I like the village, the countryside, the people. Yes, Chris, even you. I've decided your bark's worse than your bite. And now that Kim's gone, I might even be able to get you to smile a bit more often. Oh, it's hard to see the funny side of being attacked in your own house, especially when you're about to lose it. I was going to talk to you about that. Leaving Home Farm could be the best thing for you. Fresh start all round. There's plenty of room at my cottage if you... Cathy. So pleased to see you. I was hoping you'd kill. Starting the haulage business. Next week's quite soon enough. You've got to get your strength back. It's going to be hard work. Business climate's tough these days. No, it was never easy. We got through some scrapes though, didn't we? Remember? Yeah, I remember. Cathy was with me from the start. Even got a HGV <laughs> license. Well, what you need is somewhere to live while you plan all this. Yeah. The new owner will want me out of home farm soon. That's what I was trying to tell you. I've got plenty of room at the cottage. You could move in with me for a while. I don't think it'd be practical with my chair. Well, I'm sure we get round that somehow. Well, I don't think it's a good idea, anyway. You know what the village gossips are like? I was rather hoping that you could help me out. I've been thinking about it, but there's someone I need to talk to first. Right, well, good luck, then. And to you, too. <laughs> what will I need luck for, her? I'll just be stuck back in the same old rut. Not you, Ned Glover. You've got more in you than that. When you find out what you want, you'll go for it too. Uh, Dawn, yeah? I was wondering, uh, well, if you'd like to have dinner with me tonight. Yeah, I would. 
That'd be really nice. Still got lots to talk over. I'll see you in the woolly after work, eh? Okay. Fine looking woman. Yeah. Senna tells me you used to know each other quite well. Ah, that was a long time ago, Jack. We've both been through a lot since then. Yeah, but you and Jan getting divorced. Nothing to stop you courting again, eh? Yeah, except a couple of hundred miles of ocean. She's emigrating. She's opening a bar in Ibiza. Oh. Oh, that is a problem. Yeah, it's not worth thinking about. I mean, what was she seeing me, eh? I got two brass farthings to rub together. Finish off the cash and carry list. Oh, I think you're running short on coffee and sugar. All right, I'll add them. I don't know what I'd have done without you, Terry. I'm really grateful. I'm just helping out. Well, it's not helping me much having to see you. My dad died near. Ah, uh, I was just as upset about that as you. He was my best mate. So you slept with his wife behind his back. Kelly, uh, that was a long time ago. We made a mistake and we paid for it. Not in my book. I'll never forgive you for it, either of you. Right, got the list. Is anything wrong? Uh, I'll go and collect that lot. I don't see why you should help Chris. He's been really nice to me lately, and he has just come out of hospital. I wouldn't like to think of him with nowhere to go. I don't think I'll let him stay at your place. I'm sure that's what he was hinting at, but it wouldn't be practical. There are plenty of hotels, you know, and he can afford it. I was hoping to do a bit better than that. Ah, well, you're thinking asking the new owner of Home Farm for help. You better get in quick, because it looks like Pollard's got designs on her. After all you've told me, I'm not sure I want to move in at all. <laughs> Don't worry. It's a delightful place. In the right hands. Of course, uh, you'll need a lot of help to run it. Oh, I can't start thinking about stuff till after I've moved in. No, but you'll need someone to help you right from the start. Someone, someone who understands the village. Hi, I'm Kathy Glover. I own the diner. Oh, Stella Jones. Are he moving into home farm? Yeah, that's right. Look, I know I've got no right to ask, but I was wondering if you'd mind delaying it for a while. Ah, that is totally out of the question. I can speak for myself, thank you, Eric. Why, what's the problem? Well, Chris Tate's only coming out of hospital today. Oh, yeah, Eric told me about him getting attacked. Yeah, he's recovering well, but it's not easy for him to find a place that's suitable for the wheelchair. And that is his problem, not Stella's. Eric! I do sympathise, but I want to move in as soon as I can. Yeah, I can understand that, but maybe you consider letting Chris stay on till he's found somewhere what? else. After all, it's a big place, there's plenty of rooms. I must counsel caution on this. I am quite capable of making my own decision, thank you, Eric. No. Eric's right. It needs thinking about, but if you could help out, Stella, I'd be really grateful. <laughs> Beef tea. Strengthen you up. I'm not an invalid. I feel fine. You've had a nasty shock to the system. Now do as you're told and drink it. Never seen you as the Florence Nightingale type. Well, maybe I've got hidden depths. So beneath that balance sheet brain of yours, there's a burning desire to minister to the sick. Why do you find it so hard to trust anyone? I find it a useful defence mechanism. If my sainted sister hadn't been so trusting, I wouldn't have ended up in hospital and Kim would have been behind bars. Look, we all make mistakes, but that doesn't mean to say you should turn your back on people who really care about you. Hello? Chris? I think I might have solved your accommodation problem. Well, that's great, but I thought you wanted to talk to it over with Alice first. Why do I need to do that? To explain to her about me moving in. That was never an option, Chris. It was Stella Jones I needed to talk to. Anyway, she's promised to think about letting you stay on for a while after she's moved in. What are you still doing here? 
Everybody's entitled to a tea break. Hi, love. Well, I hope you're making good use of it. Have you disposed of that evidence yet? It'll be gone before you get home, love. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Now, get off to work. There's no rush. Chris won't be back from hospital yet, and you won't have been around for weeks. Don't worry, Betty. I'm going up to Home Farm later. I can give him a lift. I'll just have a quick cup of tea first. OK, love. I expect things will be a bit quieter for you when the new owner moves in. I'll buy me time before I answer that. I didn't realise what your tapes were going to be like at start. Chris blames me for everything that's happened. Reckons Kim made a fool of me and that's how she got away. I guess he's right. Well, here's to her. Wherever she is. You're not defending what she's done. No. But I won't want to see her behind bars. She's too spirited for that. Frank tried to cage her in. Then so did Chris. And that's where they went wrong. <laughs> you won't convince my brother of that. Then maybe you should try. There's no point fighting same old battles. Time to turn pages. serious about moving in today. Well, I hope it's a nice surprise. Definitely. Straight on with the domestic chores. Yeah, it was a bit dusty. I guess you didn't have time this morning. Hey, I'm on a tight schedule. I had to get Joseph to nursery. <laughs> oh, uh, of course. I, 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 I wasn't criticising. <laughs> and you've been busy in the kitchen as well. My famous hot pot bubbling away nicely. Now you're spoiling me. That's the idea. <laughs> Oh, uh, by the way, you had a few packets out there that were past their sell-by date, so I binned them. <laughs> Thanks. You're not very organised, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I was adding my CD collection to yours, but I, I don't know how you ever find anything. I'm putting them in alphabetical order. I think I need taking in hand, don't I? And I'm just the man to do it. <laughs> Why can't I stay with you? I know things went wrong between us when we were married, but... We've both changed such a lot since then. For the better, I hope. I never wanted to get bitter about you or Rachel, so I'm glad all that's behind us and we can be friends again. Well, me too. That's why me moving in seemed like the ideal solution. I think it'd be best to enjoy the friendship for a while and not do anything that might spoil it. Stella seemed really nice. I'm sure you two could get on for a while. Not here. Not after what Kim did to me. Kim's gone, Chris. Gone for good. It's never going to be like that while I'm at home farm. I can still see Kim's face in every room. Still raking over the embers. Well, I wouldn't need to if you hadn't interfered. I said I'm sorry. Kathy's right. She's gone. It's over. Forget it. You know, I can't do that. Can't, Chris. I won't. You've every chance to make that fresh start you're always boasting about. A brand new haulage business. Laura making you nourishing meals in the kitchen. Kathy trying to find you somewhere to live. But you're still sitting here brooding about the past. For someone who's admitted it's all her fault, you do seem rather critical today. I'm just taking a leaf out of your book. You've told me a few home truths. I think it's time I'd return the compliment. I'll see if Laura needs a hand in the kitchen. So you're finally going to come out of your shell and... Straighten me out, are you, sis? I'm going to enjoy this. Just in time, Seth. Fine? Orange juice. Orange, orange juice. Are you feeling all right, Seth? Never better. Well, you don't look it. <laughs> this wouldn't have out to do with a certain package that you had this morning, would it? I'll leave him alone, Betty. His head'll be punishment enough in the morning. Aye, every dog must have its day. At least Seth looks like he's enjoyed his. 
<laughs> looks like your dad's having a good time too, Roy. What do you think about the new girlfriend, then? <sighs> Seems to be making him happy. It's good enough for me. Shame she's moving abroad soon. Oh, no, just when I thought we were going to have some fun. I must have a jinx on him. <laughs> I'm so glad we met up again. Yeah, me and all. You know, there was one point when I thought you and me might get hitched, then... Well, Fred got there first. And you met Jan. I think it might have been very different. There's no point in thinking about what might have been. We haven't got much time together. So let's not waste it. Come on, I'll buy you slap up dinner. It. Looked to me like the gloves were coming off. Well, then maybe we should go in and prise them apart. Chris is just out of hospital. Shouldn't be getting overexcited. Oh, he'll cope. You know, they're a strange breed, the Tates. They'll fight among themselves, but if you step between them, you'll only get caught in the crossfire. I suppose you know all about that. I'm not sure I realised quite what I was marrying into at the time. But you and Chris, you're, um, you're still good friends. I'd like to see him happy. So would I. I've got to know him quite well while I've been working here. Underneath all that bitterness, he's quite a different person. Just waiting for the right woman to bring him out? Maybe. I admit, I was wrong about Kim. I thought she'd have learned a lesson after everything that happened. You should have known she'd never change. She'll always be scheming, lying. But what about your part in all this? You see, there's still one question I can't answer. If Kim wanted to escape with James, why would she waste time coming to Home Farm? Why would she want to attack you? Because I had the one thing I knew she wouldn't leave without. I worked out that she'd buried the money in Dad's grave. So I dug it up and I left a little message in its place. Why didn't you tell the police? I worked it out, not them. Knew she'd do anything to get her hands on that money. She was ready to crawl. Thanks, Chris. I don't feel guilty anymore. You brought all this on yourself. She admitted she killed our father. And he admitted that he tried to kill her. That's how they were, Chris. They couldn't live together, they couldn't live apart. And if you haven't learned a lesson from all this, I certainly have. They've both gone for good. And I don't want to waste any more time on them. I've got my own life to lead. I've started to realise the future is a lot more important than the past. So if you're going to sit here settling old scores, then you can count me out. I've got better things to do with my life. <laughs> 